Slide. <laughs> All right, you are in for a treat, and by you, I mean me. I am in for a treat because I have Savage Crucibles, which is a Kickstarter action figure campaign that they did in 2023. Wave 1 finally came out. It arrived, and that was my clay from doing the stop motion. And very excited, and I brought some Mythic Legions and Animal Warriors of the Kingdom for a little comparison as we go through this really amazing lizard figure. So we're going to take a really close look at him, but right off the bat, I just want to really zoom in on his face and show the articulated jaw and the detail. Just such a fantastic figure. This is, dare I say, a work of art. And then just look at the detail on the body, the scales, the armor, just as detailed as they come. Really amazing. Right off the bat, just super impressed with this figure. Let's take a look at the uh, packaging. So we have the lizard face, really detailed art, Savage Crucible. This is the Imperial Sentry figure. So this is, uh, this was, I believe, a, one of the Kickstarter exclusive figures that you can only get through Kickstarter and conventions. And we've got a, a map in the back. Yeah, Imperial Sentry, that's the character. We've got his weapons in there. And just stories everywhere. Lots to read if you're into that sort of thing. I prefer playing with toys, but I'm sure there's people who do both. So on the Kickstarter that they did, they did different lines of characters. So there was the lizard, there were fish people, there were barbarians. So I believe each wave is going to be based after a different clan. So this one is the... I, I might be butchering the pronunciation like the barbarians will butcher their foes, but I believe it's Lemurian, which are lizard people, which are based after the characters who run the U.S. government. So there's a lot of mythology and lore behind it. So actually, when I was taking out the map, I noticed a silver package came out. So I think we got a surprise in there. So I'm very excited about that. And just the map is really cool. You can see all the places that they they vacation when they're not out slaughtering. So here's that, that silver package. And it feels like there's a card in there. Uh, not like a trading card size. It feels like much bigger. So perhaps a piece of art. Perhaps a character card. I'm genuinely not sure what to expect. But I'm going to uh, figure it out. It didn't quite pull open and it, the cardboard seemed a little bit thin. So I, I don't want to chance bending it, so I, I will pull in my support scissors. They're always there to lend a helping snip. And there we go. Yeah, so I can feel, it does feel like a card stock of sort. And this silver packaging is giving me trouble, so now I'm going to give it one more snip. Don't want to hurt the card. And I have been faced with many challenges in my life, and who knew that opening this foil bag would rank in the top 10 of them. But I persevered, and there we go. So it's a cool piece of art. So this looks like uh, one of the characters. This does not look like the Imperial Sentry. This is, or it might be, I think that's one of the other characters that came with it. But So maybe which each of the figures, there's a different character card that you can collect in the back. That is pretty awesome. And just look at the artwork on that, as detailed as the character himself. All right, so here are all the cool accessories that we're going to go through. We've got tons of swords. We've got some bonus hands. And let's pop those all out and play around with them. Yeah, I really just want to get everything out and start posing them and getting some weapons on them. I'm trying to be patient so I don't just jump into it. But yeah, these weapons are... Are so cool. I like the the glowing effect of the red and yellow swords, and here's the hand reaching out for a baked potato. Just really cool, just kind of design concepts behind them. All right, we're going into articulation. So checking the shoulder articulation, uh, it's a little bit clicky out of the just moving it around. It's not as as smooth as like the Mythic Legions figures or even the Marvel Legends figures or Hasbro figures, but the still really good mobility. I'm not quite sure about the elbows because I don't actually see a joint. So on the legs, the knees, we can see those joints back there. And those move pretty good. Actually, that looks like similar articulation to the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom figure. So I think we're going to get very similar range of motion on these ones. 
which, yeah, so very similar there. And the Animal Wars of the Kingdom figures um, is also, in my opinion, one of the, the clickier articulations. So when you move them, <laughs> his leg popped off. That's okay. When you move them, they they click, but it also helps them snap into place. And so it gets for a really good posing versus the Mythic Legions. They have a more smoother articulation, which when you're trying to pose them, they tend to move around a little bit more. So when you're doing stop motion, for example, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom are probably one of the best ones because they stay put. And I imagine that the Savage Crucible are going to be very similar where I'm going to get some some pretty good motion there. And man, this tail. <laughs> I've never seen a articulated tail quite like this before. So in my stop motions, there will be a lot of tail wagging for a very happy lizard man. Stop filming my tail. Don't make it weird. Sorry, sir. I guess I will get back to the elbow articulation. And I, I still don't see the joints in there. I mean, it moves around. But, yeah, I'm not quite sure how how it's moving. Maybe there's a ball inside. I genuinely don't know. It's really amazing. Yeah, so we're in, like, the, the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. You can actually see the pins in there. And even on the Mythic Legions ones, you can see where it's bending. But this looks like it maybe almost goes into the the arm guard. But really impressed how there's you really just can't see anything but it, it moves <laughs> incredible so very impressed that seems like a new style of elbow articulation on there so yeah you can see the joints on there you can see the pins on there and you see nothing but it moves that thoroughly impressed by that one and now with their fist pumping in the air it looks like they're actually ready to film an 80s music video so we'll probably have to put on some tunes for them but until then, let's continue with the review. So we're going to take another look at this articulated jaw. We moved it before, but let's really see what the range of motion is on this one. It just opens up so wide. Yeah, he's probably going to be eating a lot of things in my videos. And we have a cup of coffee, so we can refresh our, our thirsty lizard man. I'm rather parched. Give me a cup of joe. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Do you want hot coffee or cold coffee? Well, I'm cold-blooded, so hot, please. Uh, okay, you know, doesn't matter if you're hot-blooded or cold-blooded. Like, I'm warm-blooded. I drink both iced and hot. Listen, I'm the lizard man. You just give me what I want. And no cream or sugar. Oh, okay. All right, well, it turns out he takes it black. And there we go. He's enjoying a nice cup of black coffee. An odd way to drink, I'm just going to call it out. And change the subject and go straight to the weapons. Alright, so it looks like in the bag of weapons, it's just a duplicate of each of the other ones that were in the packaging. So we've got two of the cool red and yellow sword, the color of Winnie the Pooh, and then we've got the two kind of curved blades. And it looks like he's got some sheaths on his hips and his back. Uh, just putting in there, it does seem a little bit loose. Uh, maybe it goes the other way, kind of. Yeah, I yeah, it goes in there. It's still a little bit loose. I'm not entirely certain if I'm going to display these in the back like that. Um, I don't like that they move around so much, because when I'm doing stop motions, it's going to make it look a lot lot choppier. So he'll probably either be holding them, or they'll, they'll go somewhere else. Uh, he's probably going to be holding these ones. These are my favorite swords in there. They've got the translucent Winnie the Pooh look to it, which I really like. It's kind of like a translucent honey. Oh, and he's got some really cool articulated toesies. It is the perfect toe pose for a good scurry. I'm not certain I know what that means. Scurry, 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 scurry. All right, I guess I now know what that means. And it is a really cool pose. He could actually do really good planks like this, too, so... When he is at the lizard gym, there you go. He can hold that plank for for probably hours, if not days. But yeah, he is, that's a good solid form. That actually explains why his abdomen is so well-defined. Most people think it's the ab crunches on him, but no, it's the planking. And he is going to make a lot of pirates jealous with that plank. All right, so now we got to put some weapons in his hands. 
So yeah, just checking these. They they move around too much for my liking. So I think they look cool on the back, but as far as displaying them with it, uh, I really like the the ones on his hips. But the ones on his back, I'm not a not a huge fan. Maybe I could put these the curved swords back there. I might feel slightly different about them, but I like those looks on the hips. They're ready to grab, and these colorful weapons just kind of pop. So he's definitely going to be displayed with them. All right, so just looking at his fingers, they are a little bit uh, soft, so you can move them around. You don't have to worry about kind of forcing it in there and breaking it so you can kind of pull the fingers apart and get your sword in there. Usually if it's got no kind of bottom piece on it, you can slide them in from the top, but these ones got that huge <laughs> kind of triangular harpoon shape on the bottom, so you can't slide it into his hand. So just peel the fingers back a little bit and kind of work it in and no damage will come to it. And yeah, the one went in very easily. This one, and he holds it really good. So that's a, a good solid grasp on that one. Did you know I was given this sword on the day I was born from my father? I, I did not know that. Yes, I have a sordid past. I guess I walked into that one. Yes, speaking of walking into that one, did you hear the one about the bar? All right, I'm just going to not be lured into jokes, and I will just continue with the articulated view. Mm, my mouth is open like I'm laughing at my own jokes. Well, someone's got to laugh at them. All right, so let's get him into a cool action pose. Let's get him to stand there so he can do a side-by-side a -side just comparison of the lizard, the tiger, the minotaur. Just really powerful trio right there. So let's get our animal warrior, the kingdom, in there. And his... Ah, it came off again. I have heard of Footloose, but Legloose? This is ridiculous. Do you know who my favorite character in Lord of the Rings is? Uh, Frodo? No! Legolas! <laughs> ah, they have all got jokes. Minotaur, don't disappoint. What do you got? Do you know why I don't drive? I... Humor me. That's what I'm trying to do. No, I mean, like, tell me why you don't drive. Oh, because of at the red light I get road rage. I'm pretty sure your accent changed halfway through that joke. No, don't touch me. So now we can look at our three different toy lines. We've got our Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. We have our Tiger figure. We have our Savage Crucible. And then we have our Mythic Legions. Each one has their own level of detail that really make them stand out. So just look at the detail on the new Savage Crucible. Highly detailed. Just You can almost see the skin detail to it. Versus the also highly detailed Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. But it's got a more cartoonish, comic-y feel to it. And then the Mythic Legions is also very detailed, but not as fine-tuned detailed, in my opinion, as the Savage Crucible. And then the armor, if you look at them, again, Animal Wars of the Kingdom, it's more clean, smooth. Mythic Legion is more dirty, rustic, it looks like it's been through battle. And then just the high detail, everything about these, you can just, they really, each of them just stands out on their own. So you could integrate them, you can have them fight each other, or you can just have them each stand out on their own. Just everything about all of these lines, I'm just could not be happier. We are in the golden age of toy collecting. This really is the, the cream of the crop right here. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.